<clears throat> Hi everyone, Ralph Havens here from Heart of Running and I wanted to talk about an experience I've been having lately and I continue to have it and I think it might be useful for um, some of you to hear and it ties in perfectly with a lot of interesting things I've been reading and um, playing with lately. So, um, so I wrote a blog a few months ago I'm including it in our newsletter if you're reading this from our newsletter or watching this from this, your news, our newsletter. Um, but in the, in the blog, I talked about um, having more and more of um, a desire to let go of a lot of the stuff that didn't um, drive me. So um, a lot of my things in the past that I was holding on to, like having a big office and lots of employees and um, even lots of status, possibly in um, the physical therapy community, I felt this burning desire to let it go. And I was feeling more and more of my desires that I've had um, from the beginning of time. Um, my desires around running and hanging out with my friends and, and other desires that some, while they made sense because you could possibly make money at it or something, others didn't make any sense, like um, merely running on trails. And um, but I kept having these desires coming up stronger and stronger, and I have a sense of what was going on and what is going on, and, um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that today and how it could possibly be useful, how I've noticed it being useful for myself as I've been going through this experience. So what I noticed was when I did things that were lined up with my desires, <clears throat> I intended to do them with a lot of enthusiasm. I mean, it was fun. I was playing when I was running on the trails. It was um, something <clears throat> going on in my heart. And, um, and what I noticed was a lot of synchronicities in life. So all of a sudden, more and more things started popping up where um, the universe seemed to be playing a little game with me and showing me that it was listening. So I would say something and then I would see a billboard that said the same thing and then I'd hear a song that said the same thing and I um, we wanted to transition to a cash-based practice and some things happened around um, the office that just made it so imperative to get out of that office and to, um, to transition to now we have a, a, a cash-based practice and um, much less stress, much less um, of anything and I don't feel as if I'm working anymore at all. People come and see me and we have transformations during their sessions but um, I'm also working on these DVDs and um, and the book around um, running, The Heart of Running. But <clears throat> even the parts that weren't related to making a living or getting ahead in the world, there was something else going on where my heart, with this enthusiasm, seemed to be um, connecting with something that was then giving me access to a lot of information. And um, things just started happening in a very magical way. They just started lining up and um, things would present themselves and. It didn't seem like I had to work anymore. If I stayed in line with my desires and my heart, what my heart wanted, and that enthusiasm, I um, noticed that things were just working. And when I tried to do things and rush things and get DVDs out or do certain things um, in a very stressful way, that that didn't happen. It's like I got unconnected from something. So um, for some reason, it took me a long time before I read The Alchemist by Paul, Paulo Coelho. Um, which uh, is probably a lot of you have read, it's very well known, <clears throat> but um, as I was reading it, for, and I was, it was my first time to read it, I realized it was my story too. And he talks about some of these um, principles, and he, it's, a, it's a fiction story about a, a boy named Santiago who gives up a lot of what his life was about to go follow what um, Paolo calls um, his personal legend, which is basically lining up with his desires to do what he was um, sent here to do or what he's here to do. Um, he says that um, when you do that, the world conspires to help you. And, um, and also what he said was interesting, he called it the soul of the world, I believe. Um, the soul of the world sings and is happy. And so, um, so that's interesting. And he talks about um, the language that, um, that is used in this kind of communication. And he um, said something that was very interesting to me because he said enthusiasm is the language of that. So um, 
I could read you a passage of it. It's, um, it's interesting, from page 62 of The Alchemist, and it's um, Santiago, the boy, talking about um, this, and he says, but the sheep, he used to pretend sheep, the sheep had taught him something even more important, that there was a language in the world that everyone understood, a language the boy had used throughout the time that he was trying to improve things at the shop. It was the language of enthusiasm, of things accomplished with love and purpose, as part of a search for something believed in and desired. So, um, so I thought that was um, an interesting um, synopsis, very well written, of what I had been experiencing. And then later, um, he was talking about um, who, the, the, he, he was being asked, who taught you to, to speak the language of the world or of the desert and the winds? And the boy answered, um, my heart. And so, um, so how can this be useful for me? What I've noticed is when I stay true to my heart, and that means um, noticing those desires that haven't gone away, that don't go away, the ones that my burning desires that I really have, um, and then connecting to them with my heart, enthusiasm naturally is a language of that. But what happens is life has no resistance. So um, instead of trying to fight this um, flow of whatever's going on, there is no resistance. And I've just noticed it in my life, I've noticed it in my wife, Jen's life, and our family, and, um, and I wanted to share that with you. A lot of times people, um, and I wanted to share that with you, and I'll just leave it at that. So, um, so I hope this has been helpful, and if you haven't read The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho, I highly recommend it. Um, and I look forward to more, um, more video with you. Thank you.